it's the holiday season and we're pulling out all the stops to make sure it's a merry and delicious one. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and today on Cravings Food Adventures, we're making meat pies. But not just any meat pies. These pies are flavored with my own taco spice blend and it is mexilicious. The recipe is very simple and it can be broken up into two parts. The first part is the pie dough and the second part is the filling. To make the pie dough, I'm simply going to grate one stick of butter. Now you need to make sure that this butter is very, very cold. And in a large bowl, I'm going to add 10 ounces of all-purpose flour that has been sifted, a pinch of salt, the butter that I grated, as well as 120 ml of very cold water. Now I'm going to add all of the water at the same time and I'm going to mix the dough very quickly. And when it comes together, I'm going to cover it with cling wrap. I learned this trick in culinary school. If you add the water all at the same time, you won't be overworking your dough. I'm going to leave my dough aside and let it rest. In a large saute pan, I've got some oil heating and I'm going to add one medium red onion. Now I've just diced this up and I'm going to throw it into the saute pan together with a couple of cloves of garlic. I've got three cloves of garlic that I've minced as well as one green chili that I finally chopped. I'm going to saute this really well and then I'm going to add one pound of ground beef. Now you can substitute any kind of meat for this recipe. You can use veal if you like, pork or even chicken. Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of taco spice. You can use a store-bought taco spice if you like, but if you want something really spectacular, I have a taco spice blend that you're going to love. I'm going to leave that link in the description for you to follow. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of tomato puree as well as some salt, and I'm just going to cover and let this cook for a few minutes. Next, I'm going to add a quarter cup of diced red and green pepper. Now, not only does this add a really great flavor, it also adds a lot of color. I'm going to cover it again and just cook it for another minute. And then it's ready to be finished off with some chopped coriander. Now, I'm going to take my filling and I'm going to leave it aside to cool. My dough is well rested and my filling is cooled and now it's time for the magic to happen. I'm going to roll my dough out and I'm going to use this really inexpensive cutter. I found this pie cutter that's going to make these little mini pies for me. All I'm going to do is press down in my dough and it's going to cut the top and the bottom for me. And as you can see, it's really, really cute. Now, if you wanna buy this product, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. This is where I got it. But if you don't want to buy this product or you can't find this product, you can simply use a cookie cutter. Just cut out two rounds and then make sure that the top half has a little hole in it for the steam to escape. Just seal the sides with egg and use a fork and you're done. But in the case of this cookie cutter, I'm simply going to add egg to one side and then I'm going to add my filling in the middle and I'm going to crimp it together. I'm just going to make as many meat pies as I can. This is gonna give you about eight meat pies and then I'm ready to brush the top with some additional egg and it's going to bake in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes till it's nice and golden brown. These meat pies would make an amazing entree for your holiday table. And if you make a smaller version, it would be great to serve as an appetizer as well. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, I upload new videos every Friday. And this video is a special 12 days of Christmas edition. So make sure you look at all the recipes and try them for yourself. Until I see you again from Cravings Food Adventures, happy holidays.